When absolute programming is used, you can determine if an arc or a full circle is being machined by looking at the coordinates. Compare the start point data to the end point data. If the end point and the start point coordinates represent the same location, the cut is a full circle. When this occurs, you may find that the end point data is not present in the circular cut block. This is evidence that the end point is the same as the start point, and a full circle cut will be made. The next item programmed in the data block is the center point. As mentioned earlier, there are two ways in which the center point can be programmed, the location method and the radius method. The location method uses two center point address words to specify the location. These two words will use a combination of I, J, and K addresses. Notice that the addresses I, J, and K are in alphabetical order, just as the X, Y, and Z addresses. In fact, the I address identifies an incremental value in the X axis, the J value to the Y axis, and the K address to the Z axis. For example, if the I value were minus 2 inches, the location of the center point would be 2 inches from the start point in the minus X direction. If the J address value were 4 inches, the location of the center point along the Y axis would be 4 inches in the plus Y direction from the start point. Since we're assuming the G17 code is active selecting the XY plane, the addresses for the center point will be I and J, since they represent incremental distances on the X and Y axes. It does not matter whether the programming mode is absolute or incremental. When I and J or K addresses are used, the location of the center point will always be incremental distances from the start point.